There's been a whole lot of talk about the Big South Conference lately, so I pulled up on Hampton and checked them out on the road in conference play against High Point University. Was it an HBCU atmosphere? No, but the dance team was out there doing their thing, and the pet band even played Nick. So I don't know, maybe the Big South is ready for this HBCU life after all. What I do know is that Hampton is in the top tier of the Big South standings and that Jermaine Morrow is a bucket and his running partner Ben Stanley is a big bucket. The Pirate duo are both averaging 20 plus on the year, but don't sleep on HPU. Their record ain't all that, but they got some certified hoopers and showed Hampton that nothing comes easy on the road in the Big South. Morrow and Stanley get the 1-2 game going early in the first with a nice dish and drive for two. Then it's Morrow on the ISO, making moves in the paint with the close range fadeaway. Morrow missing the lay, but Stanley's right there with the putback. More big man moves from Ben Stanley, facing up in the triple threat, spin move and the nice finish with the left over the defender. Then it's back to Morrow, he misses the three, but gets the steal and the lay, and Hampton is up eight halfway through the first half. And this Dondre Griffin floater puts the Pirates up 14. It looks like Hampton might run away with it, but High Point was like, nah, player. And the boy Jamal Wright put the Panthers on his back like a Gucci knapsack. He dropped 20 points in the first half, 8 of 9 from the field, 3 for 3 from 3, and just like that, Hampton goes into the breakdown 140 to 39. High Point still hot in the second half, going up by as many as 13. Caden Sanchez had 18 of his own. Jamal Wright still blazing. He had 14, and things were looking rough for Hampton. But the Pirates slapped on the hook in the eye patch and went to work. Greg Hextall gets his own board and the putback bucket. Then it's Ben Stanley with strictly big dog moves in the paint. Hextall again. Pull it up knock it down, get three points. Hampton still sailing the high seas for a comeback. Jermaine Morrow, showing why he's one of the best guards in the nation with this extra tough finish at the rim. Then caps off the comeback with the lob and one finesser to Ben Stanley, and the game is tied with under nine minutes left to play. But HP was relentless on the glass all night. Caden Sanchez, big board, big bucket, Panthers back on the prowl getting up by six. But Jermaine Morrow went back in his bag with another impressive and one drive to the cup. The Panthers right back with another big offensive rebound and another big three by Jamal Wright. Morrow and Stanley back to the two-man game off the pick and roll. Ben Stanley showing off the touch once again. Hampton down five with four minutes left to play. Jermaine Morrow back at it with the stop and pop from three. High point counter punches with the three from Denny Slay. Jermaine Morrow gets the dime from Dondre Griffin, puts in the easy lay, and Hampton's down 183-82 with two minutes left in the ball game. A couple high point free throws later and Hampton is down four. 24 seconds left to play. Jermaine Morrow finds Dondre Griffin in the corner for three. Bang, bang. Pirates back down only one. And you know how it goes from here. Intentional foul, two made free throws, two seconds left to play, a three would tie it for Hampton, and of course Jermaine Morrow gets the ball. He gets a decent look off the inbound, but misses off the front of the rim, and High Point gets the conference win 88-85 at home. You ever felt what a garage flow felt like? Imagine sleeping there. Old pool room, that's the road we stayed on when we stayed in the garage. I used to let my mom and my little brother had a couch, I had a floor, but that's where it all started at. The rug had been swept from underneath our feet. And we kind of hit rock bottom at one point, sleeping on the floor, you know, not eating a lot, see where we at now, see the success he's having. Them long nights, them cold nights, that's what made me. 
that's how I be known when I go against certain guys. Like you ain't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't go through that. You ain't built like that. He's not the tallest, he's not the biggest, but every time we get on the court against anybody else, he dominates. Anywhere there was a ball or a basket, that's what Roger was. It did not matter. Basketball, the only thing that got me through it really, no matter how good I play, they always he's too small, he's too small. That garage could have broke us. That garage could have made us anything, but it, it made us stronger.